Hey guys, what's going on today? Bojo here, and welcome to NHL 16's finale of Hockey Ultimate Team Under Pressure, the monthly series created by the guys over at EA Sports that challenge both NHL YouTubers and Twitch streamers to complete various tasks in a very limited amount of time. So unfortunately, guys, this will be the final episode for Hot Under Pressure in NHL 16, but I can guarantee it will be making an appearance in NHL 17 at some point. Now, since this is the finale, we are going out with a bang as all four previous winners of the Hut Under Pressure series are going to come back in this episode and battle it out to see who will reign supreme as the NHL 16 Hut Under Pressure champion. So the January winner, X-Tech, February winner, myself, March winner, Best NHL Clips, and April winner, Flopfish, all compete in this final challenge. One of the cool things about Hockey Ultimate Team is the number of items that are available in it. In fact, there are actually over 20 different player items in Hockey Ultimate Team, and luckily a team in HUT requires only 20 players. So for this finale's task, we have to create a team that includes one of each player item in this game. Now because there are 21 different items, we'll be able to skip one, so we have to choose carefully which one we skip. Now to help us out in this task, EA will be providing each of us with the following. One bronze player premium pack, one silver player premium pack, one jumbo player premium pack, 300,000 coins, and an untradeable team of the year Jonathan Taves. And to make things a bit more interesting, we will each be able to open up all three of our packs before our 10 minute timer starts. That way we can actually have all the players opened, see what we got and place the players on our team to actually figure out what we need to go shopping for on the market. Our score will be determined by our team's overall chemistry plus the average of our offense, defense and goaltender ratings. For any player item that we do not include on our team, we will lose five points. In addition, for every 10,000 coins we have remaining, we will get one extra bonus point. So if we have 105,000 coins remaining, we will get 10 extra bonus points we always round down. All right guys, so that is the challenge ahead of us. We have to build a team in under 10 minutes. That includes one of every single player item included in this game with the exclusion of one of our choosing. And we just have to hope that it is able to beat x -Tex, Best NHL Clips, and Flopfish's score. We've competed in what is going to be our third Hut Under Pressure video. I think we have the experience. We're one and one. Let's see if we can make it two and one, and let's see if we can leave NHL 16 being this year's Hut Under Pressure champion. Let's get it going. Okay guys, so we're going to first start off by opening up our Bronze Player Premium, Silver Player Premium, and Jumbo Player Premium packs for this challenge. Now remember, we can open up these packs and set our lineup from the players we get from these packs before the timer actually does begin. So let's start by opening up this Bronze Player Premium pack first, which has 12, 12 players, three of which are going to be rare. And the first pack here, okay, I get my boy Konechny. All right, so I think I'm gonna go with Leva Lee and Miller for my two picks from this bronze pack. All right, here we go. We're gonna open up this silver player premium pack. I'm gonna skip it. This guy, Kuosa. I can grab some change teams later for those guys. And I think we should be good to go. Aim at Liga, Del Liga. That's actually perfect. Let's use these two guys and let's throw those guys on our team and let's quick sell everything else because I do not need them. And now we can move on to the Jumbo Player Premium Pack, which could actually hold a lot of good things for us right now because are, the amount of special cards out right now are very, very high. Let's see if we actually pull anything in here. Boosh. Okay. Stole Bieksa Cassian. Patrick Kane? Are you kidding me? We pull Patty Kane. Oh my god. That's absolutely nuts. Giordano. Okay. There's our international player of the game, Yusu Jokinen. I could use that on the team for sure. I can definitely use that on my team for sure. Oh my god, though. Patrick Kane, are you kidding me? I think I have to take Kane, right? Or do I sell Kane? I think I have to sell Kane, man. 
I think I have to sell Patrick Kane here. I don't think I can actually take him. I'm going to hold on to him, and I think I'm going to sell him. Yeah, let's do that. Let's grab up Mark Giordano. Let's grab up UC Jokinen and grab up Patrick Kane because that's going to be actually huge for us right there, and I'm going to quick sell everybody else. So let's take those three guys, quick sell this. Let's set up our team, and I'll be right back. All right, guys, so after we opened up our three packs, this is what I have set up for the team for right now. So we're going to have Taves on the first pair. We threw in that international player of the game, UC Jokinen, down there. We have Miller down there on our fourth line for our non-rare bronze. And then the defense, we have Giordano set up right there. Leva Lee, Kosa, and Timonen on everything else. All right, so we do have 10 minutes to get this started. Let me get my stopwatch on my phone up and ready before we do begin this. 10 minutes on the clock, hot under pressure finale beginning in three, two, one, go. All right, final range, I need a non-rare gold player who's a right defenseman to pair up with Mark Giordano. Whoops, let me just search it by right D-man. Giordano was a two-way defenseman. Let's go with Jamie McBean. All right, let's search the milestones here. Who do I need? So all my defense is done. I can pretty much just pick these players as I see fit. Whoever's the cheapest forward right now. Let's grab up another center in Eric Stahl. All right, so there's a center in Eric Stahl. Uh, ooh, Laterra, that'd be a great pick. That'd be a great pick up right there. 10K, 8.5. Oh, yeah. Yuri Laterra, let's get him. All right, player of the game's for 15K. So I need maybe another center if I could find one. Lundqvist, that's not bad. Is there anybody cheaper? Uh, 12K, Kusla. I'll grab this guy, a right winger, Kusala. Uh, I could save the money. I really don't have time to. No, I gotta grab. Nah. Uh, what do I grab? I gotta grab for a leak. Gotta grab for a leak. I need that forward. Who's the cheapest up there? Wallen at 8 and a 0.5. That could be my last center, but then I still need more change teams. That's fine, though. It saves me money in the long run. Whoever's the cheapest, I'm seeing like 45Ks around the board here 43, 42, 41, 39. Let's grab up that Cam Neely for 41. That's a left winger, too. That actually works out pretty damn well. All right, let's send him there. I'm trying to look at the price as well. 15K on those two guys. 15K. 10K for a Mike Smith goaltender. Yeah, I'll do that. There's my one goaltender. Left wingers are a right winger. Lindholm. Lindholm with a Blackhawks. That could actually work out well. Let's grab him. Let's go to 35K on the Winter Classic cards. Condon should be the only one here. Yeah, I figured that much. Uh, what's the cheapest one? 24k? Sure. That's both my goaltenders done, so I don't need any more goalies. All-star game, left wingers. Uh, yeah, let's just check it out. Hopefully there's a Larkin. Oh, Dylan Larkin, you freaking beautiful bastard. That's my left winger. It's the only competition. Cheapest one I could find. Cheapest one I could find. Miller. Uh, Miller. Fabry. How much extra would it be? 24k. Uh, 24k for JT Miller. Because I still didn't need to sell Patrick Kane to get coins as well. Five, six. I need six. So you know what? I'm just going to buy the first six I see. And hopefully these things can match up. Let's sell Patrick Kane to get some coins. Let's get our coin total up there. 230, last price sold. Somebody can have him for like 190k. Somebody better be watching the, uh, the hour mark right there. Boom, 190k for Patrick Kane. You want him? Get him. Ah, uh, okay, that's fine, that's fine. I'm going to lose five points. I'm going to lose five points because I forgot to throw somebody in there. I have duplicate of a player. I need my backup tendy. Backup tendy. Don't forget that. Backup tendy. Don't forget that. I have 30 seconds here. 30 seconds to see what I can do. All right, 10 seconds. I could get one more on here. Let's get Wallen and Miller. Wallen and Miller. I'm only going to get one. Detroit. And that'll be it. Time's up. Yep. Time's up. Okay. I just doubled up on somebody. I forgot to include one, so I'm going to lose five points for that, which is fine. I do need to double check. Let me save my changes here. Let's see if that Patrick Kane did end up selling. He didn't end up selling. That really, really sucks. Nobody bought that Patrick Kane in that three minutes, which is horrible because I could have gotten so many more extra points. I could have got 30 extra points for that. So we completed the challenge. We did what we needed to do. We got a team chemistry of 87. And uh, we had 94k left over, so we get 94. Uh, we get nine extra bonus points for that. So let's go to our team recap and see what our grand totals are going to be. All right, guys. So I actually did realize I did screw up in our team build. I forgot a flash forward card. 
I cannot believe that, man. I cannot believe I forgot a flash forward card. My dumb ass forgot the stupid flash forward card. So we got 87 for our team chemistry. We got 89 for our average of our offense, defense, and goaltending. And we also get nine extra bonus points for our coins, but then we also get minus five for not including a flash forward card on our team, which leaves us a total of 180 as our final score. That really sucks, man. I feel like if that Patrick Kane would have sold, I feel like we would have won away, ran away with this challenge, no problem. I feel like we would have won the challenge if the Kane would have sold, but I guess I overpriced him for a bit too much and put him up for way too much than I needed to. That really sucks, man. I, I If we could have sold that Patrick Kane, I think we probably could have won the challenge very, very easily, but I guess I overpriced him a bit too much, and that ultimately led to our downfall. So we got a total of 180, which really sucks, and uh, hopefully that still is enough to beat the other three guys scores but thank you guys for indeed watching if you did enjoy leave a like comment subscribe as always thank you guys for all the support on the hut under pressure series and hopefully we will see you guys next year in nhl 17 and uh, hopefully i'll be able to take part in some of those challenges as well but thank you guys see you later